lads and lassies, welcome back to another episode of the Blinders Podcast. Blinders Podcast. Um, damn, today's gonna be a fun episode. Away. Uh, I have one of my best friends of all time. I have a bunch of best friends. It's like but six. There's like seven of us. Yeah, there's like we have like a good group. But today's guest, Binders guest, Club. is the homie that takes. Also known as Anthony. Ah, uh, damn, nice. bro. Me and Anthony have been friends since. Cheers. That's it. Cheers. Ultra, not a sponsor, mm-hmm. but you should be. Having a cold one with Sorry. a lad on a Monday. <sighs> damn, bro. It took a while to have you on me. It honestly did. I'm a hard man to find. <laughs> 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 um, Don't mind me. Damn, bro, I've known you since we've known each other since fucking second grade. Second grade, man. Tell him why. Back Tell when him how actually? Back when our dicks were like fucking fakers. <laughs> little fakers. Oh, little fakers. Little pimp lips. Um, you want to say a story? You want me to say? Well, well, we'll switch actually, I'll say. It. All right, go go. I'll no, no, you say, you say. Since you're the one that did this fucking crime. <laughs> I did a crime, guys. A major crime. Uh, so one day, basically, <clears throat> uh, my second grade teacher didn't show up for class. So they, like, separated all of us. Like, half of the class went to uh, another teacher's, and then the other half went to another teacher. And I just what happened to go into the class that Kenny was in and sat next to him, too. The funny story is that we're doing, like, a coloring project. And I don't know, I just told him, hey, you're going to eat this crayon, <laughs> a green crayon. <laughs> And he just looked at me like, "What'd you do?" I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what I did either. I just remember. I like, think he just. I think he said, he, "I think you were just like okay," and you gave me like this weird look, and then I fucking ate half your crayon, dude. Yeah, he straight just bit half of my crayon, and he's just like, straight ate it. Straight, straight ate it, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I'm like, "This kid is crazy, man." And ever since that day, man, we became lovers. Yeah, that was the day we found out we were gay. <laughs> Basically uh, No Nah but Yeah bro Ever since that day We became friends Yeah we were friends Ever since What a trip man What a trip And I remember In um, In 5th uh, grade mm-hmm. We had s- Different teachers We never had We never had anything together No class Nothing, nothing No we never had the same people Not even in there. fucking Middle, middle school, school dude You know We're always separated You know it's probably A good thing bro Cause we put a part Both failed Honestly For real Talk way too much Um, But um, Skip to 5th grade I remember this one specific time when I sat next to you again because we were already homies, mm-hmm. and I remember you. I don't know. Was you, that in Mr. Kenny's class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had, you had Mr. Right, Kenny. That's right. And, and I went to I your class, and you had toys uh, at your I desk. Saw, uh, little Patrick. <laughs> yeah, he had a little Patrick action figure. <laughs> he had a fucking. I love SpongeBob. I yeah. love it. I still do to this day. He had he had a tech deck, and then you would fucking we'd fucking be doing tricks. I'd always uh, take a lot of shit on the on the on the tech, textbooks. Tech decks since fucking we used to take them all the time too in middle school. Yeah, yeah, middle school. I mean, in middle until, school they started popping we a little more. To marbles, <laughs> canicas. <laughs> hey, no spiders, no, no spiders this time. Yeah, what, bro, we fucking. No, uh, when you drop it, what was it called? Oh shit! Fucking uh, meteorite or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> fucking bomb, atomic bomb. I don't even know. Damn, bro, I totally forgot about marbles. <laughs> Yeah, we'd play fucking Bombing. marbles in middle school. Uh, so it went from like him eating my crayon to fucking playing toys on the fucking desk, and then we started playing marbles, like all badass in the dirt area. To this day, I buy action figures. Just so you guys know. Yeah, you fucking collect, collect them, I man. Like marble action figures. You're gonna be brothers. rich, bro. Those shits are gonna be worth a shitload in like. Yeah, fucking we have a lot, dude. Since we're kids, man, we've been collecting toys since forever. At first hey. we would buy them just to play with them. We'll fuck them up, scratch them, beat them up like toys. You know that's what they're used for. But after a while, we started buying these uh, Marvel Select toys. They're collectors. They're collector edition. And uh, yeah, we just started collecting them. It, it became a toys that we were just playing with at first. And then we came to realize, all right, all right well, we're getting older. We weren't going to play with them anymore. <laughs> we still like them. We You're like, I ain't going to get away. pussy. I ain't going to get pussy playing away, with these. They just started, yeah, honestly. <laughs> Actually, they kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, we just started started collecting them out of the nowhere. You know, and they started building up, and then we started seeing that how much they go for. Some of the toys we have are going for like eighty dollars, and that's open box too. And how much do you it's pay for them? Crazy, like 30 40 
depending yeah. on which one you go. So double your money. You're doubling your money, yeah. You, you think really you do you think that in like fucking couple years? Hell yeah, dude, they'll go up more. Yeah. They're gonna. I don't think they're gonna make. And if they do make the character again, it's he's gonna not gonna a, look the same. Yeah, it's gonna it's be a different. little bit different. Probably yeah, like a different saying. outfit or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. But I'm talking like imagine it when you're like fucking fifty, dude. When you're like fifty, you. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go. Hundreds wanna, of bucks, you know? Yeah, no, hell yeah, dude. They're gonna go for a lot of money. There's some toys right now that are even going for like two hundred dollars. Yeah, like almost two hundred dollars, like one something. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Some of them are are really pricey. That's why we haven't bought in them. Yeah, dude. Toys in general just fucking go up in value. I was fucking um, I was at Walmart yesterday and mm-hmm. I was looking at Lego sets and like the fucking Millennium Falcon. Oh hell yeah! That dude. shit Lego costs like yeah, dude. Dog. It was like fucking like fucking a, uh, almost like two bills too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, damn, bro. If I had a son, yeah, I would. It takes forever to build. I'm like, I'm never gonna waste two bills to buy this motherfucker <laughs> this set. Like, Honestly, fuck, fuck that, dude. Like, I used to build a lot of Legos too. I used to like building Legos. Remember yeah, me too. too. Yeah, yeah. As a kid, as a kid, hell yeah, dude. All time. Trip All out. Time. Yeah, dude. Toys are a big thing, bro. Fucking still are, man. Yeah, and I remember. Oh, uh, when I think about the old days, I get a I get a little sad. If I'm being honest, because I miss yeah yeah I miss when we would literally because um, we would literally get home from school mm-hmm. and just throw your backpack down on the fucking floor. Yeah, rush to your friend's house. Fucking yeah, skateboards in the fucking front yard. Skate over there. Scooters, whatever. Blades, yeah, whatever it was, and you just go straight yard. to to your homie's house, and we just kicked it not all e- day. Not even doing our homework. <laughs> we do them the, uh, <laughs> the day the day of yeah before the class is about to start uh, early in the morning each other's work <laughs> uh, no dude but I remember like that was our job to fucking get home from school and go straight to your friend's house and we just play hell yeah dude Those whatever, whatever it was Xbox split screen Halo yeah Halo 3 back when we didn't know what was online honestly so we'd play like in the little the smallest screens like it's like if this screen was cut in half ain't no screening yeah <laughs> hey don't look Cheater. at my screen yeah 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 Damn, bro, because you can actually, you there was actually physical contact, you know, so like, Hell yeah. we could talk to each other like, hey, bitch, mm-hmm. hey, bitch, hey, motherfucker, <laughs> just a little, and then we'd fucking rollerblade and skate, you know, we did all that stuff, dude, that's just crazy, yeah, dude, we're we, friends, yeah, we were crazy kids, man, growing up, I think our generation, like that in the, the 90s, what, in the 90s, is the last generation that actually played outdoors. Yeah, that Unless, played outdoors. Well, obviously, on a regular basis. Yeah, you, you th- know that's that's right because if your kids at home and you don't have them like in a sport, they're never gonna be want to be playing outside because of the, the, the technology that's out already. Fucking computers, iPads, fucking every kid nowadays wants a parent just fucking gives a kid a phone now to shut them up. To shut them up, yeah. You know they don't fucking no discipline. These kids are fucking spoiled. Yeah, dude. I know Man, they fucking are. It's the way that life is. Hey, now, but let's be honest with you. I don't blame them, dude. If we probably had that, <laughs> if we had the technology when we were, I don't little, blame me either, dude. It's just that it's, it's it's so sick, man. It's, it's sick seeing that, you know? Like, yeah. damn, these motherfuckers are lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't have none of that shit, but they're not gonna experience what we had. You they're know, never not, they're never not gonna experience. I saw sh- I saw a poster the other day of like a big old scab on a little on a kid's knee, uh-huh. and it was like, uh, kids growing up now. Will never experience the pain of your of, of the kids back then. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, yeah. that's so true, dude. And then you're, you're right here, you're like, you're like fucking picking at it. Honestly, I, you're fucking ble- I, bleeding again. You're I, like, I, oh shit, you have, you have a bandaid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And then it hurts. And then yeah. after you do it, you regret it. You regret it. You're like, oh, I shouldn't oh. have done that. And then you pick at it still. <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember a couple times, bro. I ate shit and I would get mad at you guys. Yeah. You guys remember that? I remember that I don't know if you were there This one time But I like I was riding uh, Remember Rodrigo mm-hmm. I was riding his bike And I tried to do a wheelie And my oh, feet got That's st- when we got into bikes too huh? Yeah my feet got stuck On the pedals So I fell straight back mm-hmm. And then all you motherfuckers Kept laughing at me <laughs> And I got <laughs> That was the thing to do Yeah yeah And I got butthurt I got mad at you guys ah, Fuck you guys You guys just laugh at me You guys don't even help me <laughs> And you guys just kept laughing under your fucking like. We would all do that though. <laughs> Whoever would fall, eat shit, know, anything, bro. get hurt. We would just all just point and laugh. And then yeah. once we saw he was upset, then we were like, "Oh shit, are you okay?" <laughs> uh, I remember uh, fucking when we were playing. We were playing bote bote. 
That's an old school one. Uh, it was basically hide and go seek. Gotta explain it. Yeah. Uh, it was hide and go seek, but for beaners. <laughs> basically. Um, basically, what you do is you yeah. you get a you crush a can, and then you put it next to a pole, something that makes sound, and one person's it, like in hide and go seek. Everybody else goes mm-hmm. to hide. And then this one person needs to whoever's it needs yeah to. whoever's it needs to go look for everybody. Basically, but, you gotta remember what they're wearing too. Yeah, yeah you that's have like to, key. Yeah, yeah, because so all you yeah. have to do, all you have to do is as soon as you see someone, you oh, call man. them out. And if, if it ain't them, huh? If it ain't them, then they. Yeah, stay. yeah, yeah. If but it if if it you called out the incorrect person, then you're it again. The game starts over. Um, you can stay in your hiding spot, or you can move somewhere else. But point is, you have to keep guard of the of the of the, the post. Yeah, the post that has the can next to it, mm-hmm. because you you could have caught three people already. Mm-hmm. And let's say you're looking for the fourth person, and that person you comes have, out of nowhere. You have to walk away from the pole. Yeah, yeah you need to walk away from the pole because he's hiding them. somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, but then that person can run to the pole and grab the can, and he taps on the post. And he says in Spanish, which is he just says "bote bote todos mis amigos," which is <laughs> save all my friends. Yeah, yeah, basically. it's basically saying save and all then my friends. Just scatters out again, and then yeah, yeah. You're fuck, you're like ah. Yeah, the person who's yeah. this, like fuck, I just needed one more person, <laughs> and that motherfucker that saves worst, everybody. Dude, I remember. Oh, I remember when I got caught. That's on the that, yeah, that, tree, that's, dude. that's where I was going with this. So say oh, the story. Yeah, shit, man. That's where I was so going. We're basically with this. playing the game. I climbed up a tree. It's kind of in the corner where the bike trail is. So. Uh, that was the monkey. I, I was a fucking spider monkey back then. <laughs> now I fucking can't even climb up a fucking wall, my fat ass. But <laughs> yeah, I was, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking. I was a in a tree. I didn't know a cop was fucking passing by. So what I did was, I was gonna run towards the pole to save all my friends. And as soon as I jumped off the tree. One of my friends was out right there by the bike trail that wasn't playing. It was Brock, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Brock. He wasn't playing. He was just fucking posted. Mm-hmm. White boy, Brock. I love you. <laughs> you saved my life. But anyways, I jumped off the tree, and then the, the cop f- flashed its light at me and then told me to stop. But I just kept on running. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm going <laughs> to go, go save, save my friends. I'm going to save my friends. And then my, my, my friend Brock was like, Anthony, stop. <laughs> and I just turned around, and the cop was just like, just I forgot what he told me, but I was like, no, we're just playing a game. Like we're just we're playing hide and seek. He and pulled up into the in, onto the sidewalk. Yeah, he pulled up onto the sidewalk. He was about yeah. to tackle my ass. Yeah, because I mean, uh, think about it, bro. You popped out of the tree out of right nowhere there at a corner, and yeah, bucked he it. Probably tripped out. Like, he probably thought fuck you were like some fucking on? thief. Yeah. Honestly, but yeah, that shit was funny. I didn't even know. I just turned around. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. He realized you're just a little kid. Yeah, and then we were playing hide and seek. So it, <sighs> and then gave gave us stickers. Oh yeah, he ended up giving us stickers. Can too. we have stickers? Sure, sure, sure. Like little fags. <laughs> Honestly. Ended up worrying him at the end of the night, too. Putting them on. We felt like cops. We felt like badasses. Yeah. Remember we would dig holes into the trees to get more support? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we, oh, wow, right poor, there. In the corner where yeah, Jackie yeah, lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor tree. Spies. Poor... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, oh man! Hey, poor funny. trees. We would literally like if there's a tree dude, dude. that was like at, at a small angle, we would carve holes into the tree, and mm-hmm. make little steps so we can get up there easier. Uh, dude, the trees are probably like fucking dicks. Honestly, fucking hurting and shit. <laughs> We're stabbing holes in it, yeah, so yeah. We, our, our tip or our, our feet would. Grab grip on it and to climb up. Our easier. toes, no, almost there. They probably still have holes to this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, bro. You should go check it out. One of Battle scores. Fucking... We would put. I would put K plus A with the heart. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, bro. Our childhood was sick, man. Honestly, I love. I loved our childhood. It was. It was. It was fucking fun, man. Yeah, we would fuck around way too much. Hell yeah, dude. That shit was fun. Was crazy, man. That shit was fucking sick. Do you remember was... that? Do you remember that one time, bro? That where. This we were walking in the bike trail late at night, mm-hmm. and this girl was like having a problem with some guy. Mm-hmm. Were I you there? I, I think I do. Yeah. And then we like it was like five of us, mm-hmm. and we were like there was a group of us. <laughs> we were like in a, a fresh. We were all freshmen, and we were walking, and this girl was fighting with her boyfriend, and we we surrounded her. To help her, like to ask her what's going on. Are oh you okay? yeah, dude, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. and we surrounded. <laughs> she was she like got on the phone. Scared. Yeah, we surrounded her, 
I um, understand though. Nosotros yeah. también, bro. Yeah, we're, pinche. We were like, <laughs> are you okay? We were, we were like hyenas, bro. We fucking circled around her like, <laughs> like fucking pray, fucking and, pray around her. And I remember she was backing up, and we were asking her, "Are you okay? We just want to make sure you're okay." You're. She was like crying. She was like brutal, you know? Yeah, she was fighting over on, and, on the yeah, phone. Yeah, and she was on the phone, so and she was like, she was like, scared. "Hurry up, hurry up! All these guys are surrounding me. All these guys are surrounding me." And then like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared, and we're like. Jeez, lady, like we're just trying to help, you know. Just asking if you're okay, but those like <laughs> chits around me. Yeah, here, dude. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we should have raped her back. Said a bunch of kids. Nah, I didn't say that. That's <laughs> <laughs> <was> fucked up. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, nah, dude. But yeah, yeah dude. Was fucking wild. A lot of shit. I remember that shit, dude. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. We just crazy. all just left back to Brock's house. Mm-hmm. We'd spend a lot of time at Brock's house. What happens in the garage stays in the garage. Ah, <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, Brock's house was the shit because uh. He uh, he's white. His he's parents white. are white too, so you know. Yeah, he's he's he's. They the, kind of bend the rules a little. He was the only white boy in Santa Ana at the time, and uh, white family. Yeah, the whole white family, bro. But they're the most Mexican white people you'd ever meet. <laughs> Basically. Um, and Brock always says that I'm gonna have him on the show one time. He used um, to be on the show. We all need to get together, all the guys. Yeah, but we I need, need more, more fucking, fucking mics, mics. Yeah, I know. Um, hey, pitch in. Um, but yeah, but like Brock, we would. It's cool because his parents were always the parents, like the cool parents, so to yeah, speak. Basically, because hell yeah. They like typical white people's shit, you know. Like mm-hmm. fucking, cu- the, their hospitality is like through the roof. Open. Yeah. yeah like our parents, Hispanic like what, parents, like when are I like. First met Brock, yeah, like we don't want kids here. We don't want kids inside and make a mess. His his parents. Ten of us, come in, guys, come in. You, you guys all hungry? You guys all hungry? You guys want juice boxes? <laughs> you know, you guys all want PB and J's. What were they called? Tortillas. I don't remember, bro. Tortillas. <laughs> no, I feel like they would call them something else. I don't remember. I thought it was funny because uh, growing up, Brock Brock was my neighbor at, at my at my old house, and I would go over <laughs> to his house to eat American <laughs> food, like Americanized Arders. food. Like fucking chicken and dumplings and uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hamburgers, uh, hot dogs, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that it, traditional yeah, shit. yeah, and with biscuits, you know. And then Breakfast was amazing. All the Brock time. would spend the night. Yeah, hell yeah, fucking traditional. The fuck, we did literally have Denny's breakfast at his house, yeah. you know. Uh, literally. But uh, he Brock would want to come over to my house because he wanted to eat all the all the Hispanic mm, shit, Hispanic Guatemalan shit actually. Uh, he'd he'd fucking he'd leave my house with fucking black beans like all over his mouth. <laughs> he'd uh, he'd get home and and make sure he ate five tortillas. Yeah, yeah. And his mom would be like, "Brock, did you eat?" He's like, "Yeah, I was at Kenny's house. Uh, I ate I uh, frijoles. Uh, I ate beans with cream." <laughs> <laughs> Your mom too, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always bro. making sure we ate tortillas too. Yeah, man, dude. To get full, My mom would make me chicken nuggets with tortilla, bro. So I remember that when she would get you your whoppers too. Go me tortilla. Yeah. That shit was bro. funny. That's Hispanic parents for you, man. But yeah, I remember, bro, going taking it back again, back to going to school. Uh, middle school, bro. We would walk into school, me and him. All the time. I'd have to go pick him up. He would walk. wake me up. Yeah, I'd wake him up basically. Wake me up all the time. <laughs> and uh, I remember I'd have to, I'd have to walk in through the back. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, put your culero away. I'd have to wake up the whole thirty minutes before you. You were already up though, fucking sure, playing video sure. games. <laughs> 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 School started at eight. I would wake up at six, six to play, just video, to play game. video games. Fucking uh, Saints for all or something. <laughs> and uh, fucking FIFA. No, I'd play Call of Duty Four with Nico. Call of Duty 4. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, ah! <laughs> Call of Duty 4. I mean, Grand Theft like, Auto 4. Call of Duty 4 with Nico? Like, what? No, Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto. Um, that was a good game. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. That and I would game. wake, I would go wake you up. I remember I'd always try to scare him. So I like, I, but as soon as I the door. sneak in, but I'm yeah. like a sensitive sleeper. I hear yeah. shit, I'll wake up. As soon as the door creaks, like, he, I would see his head go. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, bro, that shit was a shit. Yeah, I was hey. really sensitive. Yeah, hey. And then we'd walk in the mornings. Yeah, yeah. Go to Ghost of Toys. Which was a little store a on little the store way to. Well, to if uh, you guys stay are here in Santa Ana, you guys know what yeah, we're talking yeah. about. It's a little store in an alleyway that fucking you just buy chips and snacks and yeah. shit. All the time. Um, You know what I, I wanted to talk about? Because it, it, it's an issue of uh, growing up in Santa Ana. Um, not so much anymore, but uh, 
Because back then, being a gangster was like the shit, you know? Yeah. Even when we were little. We had our moments. Yeah. When, 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 <laughs> no, no. When we were Being little. Cool guys. When we were little, we would, um, it started dying down. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to talk about like, we've, we've been hit up by gangsters before. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember you got hit up. Plenty of times. Um, specifically. It's fucking normal out here. Yeah, yeah. But you got hit up. Remember, dude, I thought you were going to get killed, bro. <laughs> Tell them the story yeah. when you got hit up because you backed me up in a fight. Oh, yeah. You know, and. This guy was a hothead, man. This guy, so... that was a one punch knock, <laughs> knocker, whatever the fuck you'd call it. Uh, well, Kenny was on a fight. I don't know who are you. Who are you gonna fight? I don't even know. Uh, I don't remember, I don't bro. I, was, I don't know. I was gonna fight with someone, supposedly. Yeah. So you know, it's funny. I'm releasing. I'm talking about fighting when I just released an episode saying why I don't fight. <sighs> this time, Kenny was gonna fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I. But all our friends were basically being a bunch of fucking girls. They were just in the back trying to watch what was gonna happen. I was the only one that went with Kenny. So, yeah, Kenny goes. He's talking to the guy. And then some little dude that I know. He was your homie, bro. He was my friend. I, well, not my friend friend, but, like, I just, we would just say what's up to each other because I had him for a few classes. Just goes to show, bro, how, how he backed me up, bro. He, he <laughs> We would say what's up to each other. Yeah. Like, you know, because I had him for a few classes. He was cool. He was a cool cat, you know, but obviously they were, like, in their little crews and shit. So, I mean, I always always want to keep it cool with everybody, but... Obviously, when it comes to my friends, you don't you don't mess with them because I'll get in too, even if it's not my fight. Oh, oh, nah, but yeah, Kenny was in a fucking fight. Started arguing with the guy, and then I just hear uh, someone in the back. There was a crew who used to be as SAG, skaters and gangsters. We consider ourselves <laughs> gangsters, but we weren't really gangsters. We were just skaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I just hear fuck SAG. Bunch of pussies, and I just turned around. And I was like, "What? You heard me?" I'm like, "Ah, come on, dude! Like, get out of here, dog! Like, walk away, walk away, man! Get out of here!" <laughs> I was like, "Nah, fuck you, dog! What's up?" And I was like, "Oh my god!" So I just got pissed. I'm like, "What's up? What are you gonna do about it?" Like, "What's up, Dan?" And I just fucking swung at his ass. I fucking one punch, boom, dropped him. He fucking started bleeding from his freaking mouth. I guess he like he bit into his like the inside of his cheek. When I punched him And he started spitting out blood Because he bit him So I was like really hard And I was like Ah oh, shit And I started walking away And that's when the security guard Carlos Remember Carlos? And he was cool with us too He was cool with us He was, he was like Did you punch him? I was like yeah He was talking shit <laughs> And then he was just like Oh fucking guy Yeah So I ended up going to the office Blah 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 They pulled him out It was like a week before graduation too That was 8th yeah. grade year. Wait, wait wait hold on Hold on before you get to that The Going back to the scene, the actual scene. So I'm over here arguing with the guy. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because right? back then, what I'd do is I'd talk a lot of shit, but I wouldn't get into the fight. We'd just be like, you know, when you push each other, what the bitch, you know? Pushing and shoving. Fucking and then guys. while we're doing that, all you, he- all you hear, like, all I hear, like, in the background is, ooh, <laughs> bro. Guys. And we're all little kids, so all you hear is, ooh. ooh. And then we, like, turn around, bro, and then that's when we see fucking Anthony, bro, you know, and he, and he knocked the kid down. And then we, we like, Stop doing what we were doing, you know? And we're like, oh, shit. And that's, right away, the security guard came. Because there was a big circle already, Yeah, you know? people were just piling up. And then that's where they they, they took ooh, Anthony. Ooh, ooh. They took Anthony and the kid. But since we're all little kids, um, all these little fucking... I don't know whoever it was, but all these bitches ratted me out with, with the other kid. They're like... That's, they said they the whole story. Fight, yeah. yeah, they're like, these guys were going to fight, but then Anthony fucking came in and fucking <laughs> knocked him and out. And punched him in the face like, OMG. Yeah, and I was so scared. And <laughs> uh, So that's when we both went to the... We all went to the office, but now nah, continue your story. So we all I mean, went to I, the obviously, office. I was the one that was in trouble because I actually punched the kid. Mm-hmm. These guys, I guess, think they got let off the warning or they got detention. I'm not too sure what happened. Mm-hmm. But for me, I was in the office all day because... Uh, supposedly after school they already had plans. That was this was during lunch, so after school I guess his friends got together and they started like sending text messages out to other friends from other schools, fucking saying that they were gonna fucking basically jump me for fucking fighting, kicking the guys. Well, I didn't even kick his ass. I just punched him once, but for punching his friend. So yeah, they all got together. Basically, they they were waiting for me after school, but they, I didn't walk out because they kept me in the office because I guess they got word of what was going to happen 
Yeah, the cop showed up. Yeah, a cop showed up too. A cop showed up too to escort me out to the front yard. My parents came to pick me up. They ended up finding a little note saying, "Uh, what to the kids? The kids saying like what were they were gonna get? They were like brass knuckles, bats, fucking sticks, shit like that. Stupid shit." <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck? All for fucking one little punch?" Mm-hmm. Sure enough, uh. Hey, say the days. truth, wait. You're shitting bricks a little bit. I was, honestly, I was. I, ain't gonna lie to <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm gonna get drunk. Fuck. Brutal. I wasn't expecting those fucking bats and shit, though. You know, I'm fucking fight me like a man if you're gonna fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, nowadays, no one fights like a man. They'd rather be a pussy and fucking bring out a gun and shit. But, yeah, like a couple of days went by, and then we started walking home. And then we were going to go. So we went to go to toys. We got our stuff. And then these kids just started following us. And right when we hit the alley, that's when they hit us up again. Like, hey, which one of you guys fucking fought my homie? And then they started pointing at Kenny. And they were going to yeah. fuck up Kenny. And then me right away. And then, no. And then, and then I talked, and then I ended up talking to the to the guy. Keep saying the story. Keep going. I ended up taking, I ended up talking to the guy, and he was just like, so what's up? What's going to happen? Like, honestly, bro, like, we don't even want any problems. We already, we already settled this. Like, we're just trying to fucking, um, we don't want any problems. We're just trying to go home, man. Like, like chill, you know. Like, like what do you want to do? Like, you want to squash it? You, what do you want to fight? Cause all this, all this is bullshit. He was like, nah. I ended up calming one of the guys down, and he calmed his friends down. And they're just like, ah, fuck these fools. This is bounce. That's just, that's just what ended up what happened. But yeah, they were going towards Kenny. And some girls that they were with were riding Kenny out. They were saying that Kenny was the one that was fighting. And I was just there, and I was like, no, it was fucking me. Yeah. But, yeah, I ended up talking to the, one of the guys that was, I guess, in charge of... Someone knocking? Yeah. Hold on, guys. But, yeah, hold on. We're Who's pausing. Knocking? Bitches. Who was that, Tony? Being your faggot. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's basically it. That's what happened that time. That that was that was pretty funny though. Hey, and the reason I say that Anthony was a fucking one punch guy because he did that like five times, bro, yeah. with different guys. Like <laughs> as soon as they started talking shit, Anthony wouldn't even like he wouldn't do what I would do, which is like push, then get push, push. Like he would go straight for the clock, boom! <laughs> and the guy was like, hey, "You need to start bitching and shit." What the fuck, cheap yeah, shot? Like, yeah. nigga, you're talking shit. Yeah. I don't fucking hit you, dude. I don't care. Ever the bike trail? You fucking Domingo? clocked him, bro. Yeah, poor guy. I dropped him. Damn, yeah, bro. Too. Yeah, I remember. The reason I brought that up is because, like me, I got hit up. Uh, well, again, a, a handful of times. But like, I remember one time, um, back when I was a jerker, because I used to jerk. So I would I was wearing pink shoes, white skinny jeans, and like a I don't know I had like a, a weird sweater right, colorful. So I was all colorful. We were all like, colorful. We were all jerky. Yeah, yeah. We would jerk. we'd wear to like different jerk. colored jeans. To the jerk. But I remember I was walking with my girlfriend, and then the guy comes up to me, bro, on a bike, and he just goes, "Hey, dog, you bang, you bang." <laughs> what the fuck? And I look, I'm like in my head, I'm kind of like, oh, really, dude. Yeah, like, I'm like, really, dude? But again, I'm a little bitch, so. But I, I was like, this guy actually thinks I bang? Like, I'm wearing <laughs> pink shoes, bro, for, like, with, like, white pants, you know? Mm-hmm. And I didn't, uh, to and be honest. And skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I, I didn't even know what, act, I didn't even know what I, what that meant, to be honest. And I'm like, and I just said, uh, no. And he just goes, all right. All right. And he just leaves. <laughs> and I was, I was so fucking random, dude, like. They're what trying the to get fuck? a fucking name for themselves nowadays, bro. Yeah, they just they hit up like I don't know, Random bro. Random people. Imagine the troller watching this like Unsubscribe, Kenny. Nah. I was a big fan, man. <laughs> I was a big fan, you <laughs> fucking jerk. <laughs> you broke my heart. Yeah, bro, man. But now you don't really see that many gangsters anymore, bro. To be I honest. I mean, obviously they're still around, like older heads, like OGs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all these yeah, little so. kids that are out there doing that right now, I don't know. That's fucking that's horrible, bro. Like I don't know what it is. I don't know what they see in that. Hope, hopefully, they change their mind and fucking focus on school and shit, or get a job and do work, and not just being a fuck up and being a gangster. Yeah. 
but I know I, I heard that still out there, bro. They're they do it because they see it. They don't get like love at home and shit like that. Probably. So maybe. they see it like as like like another oh, family. Yeah, another family. Like, oh, my homies are down for me. You know this and that. Yeah, bro. Blah 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 blah. They fucking get killed. They don't do shit for you. Yeah, that's true. They don't pay for your coffin. They don't pay for your funeral. Don't be a gangster, kids. Don't be a gangster. <laughs> but yeah, dog man, we had a crazy childhood. And I mean, and we're only building more memories, bro. We're building more memories. Now as adults, we're still... Now we just we black out. out. Black ass. Yeah, now we just drink. <laughs> as you guys can see. <laughs> fucking drink. Nickelobes. Travel here and there. Uh, you know, just do adult the adult shit. We still hang out, but now we just go places. Like snowboarding and... Just activities, basically. Yeah. Know? We're able to fucking actually drive now and I'll just kick it. But Obviously, be... I kind of missed us when we would kick it back then, yeah. you know? Yeah, we need fun. to set it up where you guys all come to my house. Yeah. On your bikes, you know? Leave our skateboards. I mean, we still ride our skateboards, too, so. Yeah. Especially when we go to someone's house, but. Nearby, yeah. yeah Those were the good times. They were, bro. Going to yeah. your house, all in off the porch. Yeah, yeah. And, hey, have you noticed that? That I've always kind of known this, but you don't really believe it. So you start seeing it happen. Is that like? It's true what they say. Like as you get older, your circle just keeps getting smaller, smaller and smaller, smaller it does, bro. bro. It does. Yeah. At, oh, at, yeah. Like by the time you're you're our age, well, like he's 24, I'm 23. Your circle's like at a handful. You know, like you have a handful of people now. Yeah. What what used to be like a fucking huge group, now it's only a handful. Uh, and then. Yeah. It's only gonna get. To be honest, I think it it either stays at a handful, or if not, gets even smaller. You know, because everyone's doing their own thing. You know, mm-hmm. Cause I, I have a family now. You're over here just taxing everything that walks and fucking. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so like. Not true. Just just enjoy. Not everything. You know, enjoy <laughs> enjoy uh, when you're little, bro. Cause, fuck, dude. Enjoy your childhood. Yeah, honestly. You know, go out. Adults. I mean, it doesn't suck, but just more responsibilities. Yeah. You know, you we hardly, see each other less. We just see each other less, and mm-hmm. obviously, we live fucking like a block away from each other. That's what. That's what's. That's what's good. Yeah, I know some people move away. Yeah, I moved away actually, but yeah. I came back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> but I came back. I was out there in Riverside for about a month. Yeah, how was that like? I came back. How was that like? It sucked, dude. Obviously, my parents were out there. My little brother was out there, too. How long were you there? Uh, for about a month. I was out there for a month. Mm-hmm. But I would always come every weekend, so it was like... But you were just It was born, like I was huh? never gone. Yeah. So, yeah, I would work with my dad during the week, and then on Friday night, I would just come out here to hang with you guys. But it was boring, huh? That's but why you came back? You're boring. Like, Fuck like honestly, that. out there is nice for, like, a family. If you're trying to, you know, be nice and calm, because it's really quiet out there. Like... Now that they're building a lot, but it's nice out there though. Like if you're with your family and mm-hmm. you want your own spot, you have a lot of the lands. You're back. You have a lot of land. You can work. Yeah, with. yeah. But if you like it, this madre. But if you like to be fucking turning up, bars and all that shit, everything nearby, local shops and shit, mm-hmm. then Santa Ana. Yeah. I'll come back to Santa Ana any day. Obviously, it was mm-hmm. nice moving out for a while, but yeah. I couldn't do it. All my guys are out here. He all the stores are much. all the stores are close by over there. It's like a fucking a mile, three miles away. Yeah, fuck <laughs> that. And Shit. we say fuck that, and we have cars, and that's what our parents say they used to do every day to go to school. Walk every walking it, you know. <laughs> well, we walked every day to school too. Oh, we did too. Yeah. But so they can't use that against us anymore. Honestly. All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, we're already like at about 33 minutes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, guys, just if you guys, if you, <laughs> if you guys, if you guys get anything out of this video, just get fucking enjoy your childhood, man. Fucking enjoy it, cause get drunk, fuck. black ass. Eh? Yeah, honestly. Basically, no, I'm just kidding. That's what we're gonna do right after this. Fine, we're gonna go get beers, drunk and just pop a bottle, take some shots, hit up a bar, maybe. <laughs> but. Just kidding guys Alright guys Well that's it for this episode And I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys on the next one Peace Peace